going to turn now to Senator Scott Brown and his bombshell revelation that he was sexually abused as a child. It was something he had kept secret from even his closest family members. And John Berman has much more on this. Good morning, John. Good morning, Robin. Scott Brown kept this secret for more than 40 years, but someone close to Brown told me that in writing a new book, he decided it was time to open up about everything. Even while he was electrifying the political world with his stunning victory in Massachusetts, Scott Brown had a secret. He was a survivor of sexual abuse. He said, if, if you tell anybody, you know, I'll kill you. You know, I, I, I will make sure that, that no one believes you. And it was a camp counselor. In an interview with 60 Minutes about his new book, Against All Odds, the 51-year-old senator says it happened at a religious camp in fourth grade during a visit to the infirmary. In book excerpts reported by the Boston Globe, Brown says, I was standing there with my pants down and he came right up next to me and asked me if I needed help. And then he reached out his hand. When people find people like me at that young, vulnerable age who are basically lost, the thing that they have over you is, is they make you believe that no one will believe you. Brown doesn't reveal the identity of the counselor, but even after all this time, he says, I can remember how he looked, every inch of him, his long, sandy, light brown hair, his long, full mustache. Two years earlier, Brown narrowly escaped another sexual assault, an older boy in the woods. I can still see the flash of that knife blade in the woods and the 13-year-old boy with his pants down. It was part of a harrowing childhood for Brown. He told Barbara Walters about repeated physical abuse. It was with my mom's uh, husband, a couple of husbands, and I do remember getting up in the middle of the night and, you know, having to be the man of the family and come and rescue her and, and getting knocked around pretty, pretty good. As many as one in six males are victims of sexual abuse, and victim advocates say that revelations like Senator Brown's make it easier for them to open up. His personal story will inspire countless of other people to come forward and really get the help that they deserve. Now, the sexual abuse is just part of Brown's story. There's a lot more in the book, stories about shoplifting, more details about his time working as a male model in that famous naked photo shoot. Brown wanted to give people a sense of who he really is in writing this, Robin. And you do get a sense, and hopefully this, will, this revelation will help other people. That's what advocates say.